What is up guys, it is your boy, we mess 11 and today for you I have a team of the season, Jackson Martinez review, my first of many team of the season player reviews and today I have the Jackson Martinez one, I will also have a pack opening up tomorrow where I did manage to pack, I think it was 5 or 6 team of the seasons and you will see, you will obviously guess the first one is Jackson Martinez because it says first owner, I did pack Jackson along with the other three in that team and I also packed a few others which I will be reviewing later on today but we're going to start off with Jackson because he was the one that I wanted to try the most him and Dybala I will have a Dybala review up either Saturday or Sunday just going to point that out so if you if he is one of the players you wanted to try definitely make sure to drop a sub and check out that video when it will be uploaded on the Saturday or Sunday but you're here for the Jackson Martinez review and you may have already seen a lot of reviews of this guy on YouTube already but this is my opinion and I feel he is he's good but he could be a lot better. I, I was really really looking forward to this card. Last year his team of the season was insane and this card is just as good as that. However he does have a lot more negatives this year I find. I find that his dribbling was very 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 poor like a lot of the times when he tried to dribble past players or control the ball he did end up giving the opposition the ball which is quite annoying for your striker. When you need him to hold up the play he can do that as well. If you want to play the ball in the feet and play off and make him play it around the corner over the top he can do that because his passing is really good. But, you know, really his ball control and dribbling. Okay, his dribbling didn't look too bad there. But, trust me guys, his dribbling is terrible. And he loses the ball quite a lot. He he is very, very strong. Now, that is a, a very good positive about him. Because his uh, dribbling's so bad, I feel that because his, his strength's so good, it sort of makes up for that a little bit. Because when he does miscontrol the ball, he can usually outstrength the opposition. Uh, his balance, his balance is very, very average. Like, he can, when I say he's strong, if he gets tugged back and you hit a shot, it will go flying wide. His balance is very, very inconsistent. But, his me and cons, his shot is insane. He is one of my favourite finishers on the game. Him and Inform Cavani are up there with my favourite all-time finishers on FIFA. And Jackson Martinez... What can I say? The only real set problem with him is that dribbling, really. Dribbling and ball control, along with his balance. Other than that, he's good. He is your target man. He can hold the ball up. He can bang long shots in like that. He can score chip shots. He can score headers. He can score finesse shots. He can score fancy shots. You know, he can do everything. He can pass. He, can, he is quite fast as well, which did surprise me. Obviously, his normal does feel quite fast, but I didn't expect this team in the season to be as good as this. So, I would definitely go pick him up if you have the coins, if you can get him off the market. Definitely go give Jackson a try. But just be aware that his ball control may frustrate you quite a lot, as it did me. If you enjoyed this review, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.